Good morning, everyone. It's the Graft here, and this is your Spring Bank Holiday News Round. That means schools are closed and loads of adults have got the day off work too. And for some of you, especially if you live in England and Wales, it's also the start of the half term. Now, we know that the weather can be important for plans, and it's been pretty mixed recently with sunshine and some heavy showers. So we asked the experts at BBC Weather, what's been going on? Hi Newsround, I'm Elizabeth Rizzini from BBC Weather. Now, the weather's been very changeable of late. You probably thought that summer had arrived and then it just got wetter again. Now, this is normal at this time of year. In spring, we often see sunny spells and showers. The sun is nice and strong in May. It heats the ground, the ground heats the air. We feel nice and warm, of course, but with that air getting hotter, it rises and it will produce some showers. We've seen some very heavy showers lately. Now, what's not normal is just how wet it has been. It was a wet winter, it was a wet spring. It was actually a dry start to May, drier than normal. That helps explain the heavy rain because, of course, warmer air holds more water, more moisture. Now, is the weather going to improve? Well, of course it will. It does still look quite changeable as we head through this week. And then next weekend is the start of the meteorological summer. Meteorologists, of course, are people who study the weather. It's impossible to know exactly what the summer is going to bring, but people who study the climate say that here in the UK, our summers are very likely to get hotter and drier. But because that hot air, holds a lot of moisture, a lot of water. When we do see the rain, it could be very heavy indeed. Ah, thanks, Elizabeth. Fingers crossed for some good weather. Right, still to come on today's programme, Ricky chats to famous actor Chris Pratt, known for playing Star-Lord in the Marvel movies. His latest role is a voice of ginger cat Garfield. Right, time for some beautiful butterflies, posing pigs and marvellous mutts. It's a bank holiday happy. First, take a look at these amazing hanging creatures in a museum in Italy. But they're not works of art. They're chrysalises, little cocoons with growing butterflies inside. The museum has a butterfly forest inside a tropical greenhouse and it's modelled on a rainforest in Tanzania in Africa. The museum hopes to help public awareness of deforestation and climate change. Next up, yoga anyone? But wait, hold on a minute. Who are these little piggies taking part? Well, they're actually the stars of the class, Wilbur, Charlotte and Bluey. The three little piggies do their best to encourage people to have a nice time and not take their exercises too seriously. If you ask them, digging is much more fun. Hold on a minute, is there any food in this shoe? Finally, it was very happy news for two top dogs at a famous festival in France. The Palm Dog Awards aren't officially a part of the Cannes Film Festival, but do honour the hounds who appear in the festival's films. Cody and Zinn both won award colours for their amazing canine performances. Well done, guys. Now, he's a guardian of the galaxy, a dinosaur trainer. He's also the voice behind some of the best loved animated characters from the Lego movie and even Super Mario. Now, He's becoming a cat. <laughs> Ricky caught up with Chris Pat, Pratt even, star of Garfield the movie. Oh. oh. You hungry, little guy? <laughs> you saw nothing. Eggy Bread 105 says, Hi, Chris. Do you prefer acting in live action films or being a voice actor? Oh my gosh. Well, both are a dream come true. Um, doing voice work allows me to be closer to home, which is nice. Because the one downside to being in live action films is oftentimes they're shot in places that are far away from home and, it, and I have to be away from my kids and my, and my wife for a long time. I Love Stitch wants to know, what advice would you give to young people uh, that want to start an acting career? You can do plays anytime there's an opportunity, whether it be at your school or in your community where you can be a play, be part of a play and get comfortable in front of talking in front of people. And uh, if that's your dream, I say go for it. Another Newsround fan wants to know, what do you think it is about your voice that makes you such a great choice for all these animated characters? Oh, wow. Well, I don't know. I, I suppose 
Um, I'm able to change it around a little bit. I'm an expressive person. I have a, an expressive voice. Say when. Never, John. Bury me in cheese. <laughs> Amina wants to know, if you were a cat for a day, what would you do? Oh. Um, I would get outside. I would go be an outdoor cat and I'd probably try to hunt some mice. Newsrounder wants to know, how did you get into character when playing Garfield? So did you go out and do a bit of hunting or how'd you get into character? I just ate tuna fish all day long. <laughs> this is from Pusheen. They want to know, what's your favorite food? I love pizza. I love thin crust pizza with lots of cheese and lots of pepperoni. Maybe even some jalapenos. Love that. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time, Chris. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Follow my lead. <laughs> oh, cheddar. Probably one of my top 26 favorite cheeses. Right, time for a quick roundup of the big sports news. Scottish runner Josh Kerr ran the fastest mile ever by a British athlete clocking a time of 3 minutes 45.34 seconds at the Diamond League Athletics competition in Oregon in the United States. Kerr beat a record that stood for nearly 40 years. In yesterday's football, Southampton have been promoted to the Premier League after beating Leeds 1-0 in the Championship playoff final at Wembley. Elsewhere, Rangers won the Scottish Women's Cup final, beating Hearts 2-0. And Man City celebrated becoming the first team to win four Premier League titles in a row with a trophy parade through Manchester yesterday. The team lost to their local rivals United in the FA Cup final on Saturday, but showed off their other trophies they've won in front of thousands of their fans. And finally, we end with a spring bank holiday tradition, the cheese rolling competition in the English county of Gloucestershire. Today, it has taken place almost every year for 200 years. It sees competitors chase a cheese wheel down a very, very steep hill. Definitely not to be tried at any steep hills near you, thank you very much. The event often sees lots of injuries and has medics on standby, ready to help with heavy falls, bumps and bruises. And the cheese always wins the race to the bottom. Right, that's all we've got time for today, but make sure you head over to the website for loads more, including our explainer on the general election, which is a vote for adults across the UK happening in July. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.